Planner friends, how are you today? I hope you're having a great day. Um, welcome to my channel, um, or welcome back to my channel if you're already subscribed. Um, today I will bring you a different um, video. Um, today I'm not going to plan, although the planning will come after this video, but I want to show you my May spread. Um, I just bit my tongue there, sorry. Um, I'm bringing you my maize spreads because I want to, um, it's a way for me um, to record my progress in planning. Um, so I just want to show you, um, I've only uh, moved four months into my planner because sometimes I just, um, take it um, into the garden or with me if I'm going out, which is very rarely um, because I don't hang around when I go out. Um, but downstairs, um, this is the first floor of the house, so I tend to have a, a, a small corner where I can um, plan. And um, it's normally here, so I come um, during the day or uh, at the end of the day, I come up and uh, fill in my uh, my planner. Um, this was my May uh, daily gratitude. I used to do it uh, within the uh, weekly spread on the sidebar. Um, and I thought I'll change it up. And I use um, the currently page because sometimes I don't use the currently page at all. So um, I started doing that it went well but then my hormones started playing up so i was not feeling particularly grateful so um more like frustrated that it says here angry and frustrated so it just fell off and then i started feeling better but i had forgotten by the time to to fill it in so i didn't fill it in so that stays like that true to itself and uh, we start with a main layout um, I used the colorful leopard here I also used for these two um, the uh, colorful leopard, leopard um, sticky notes which I'm going to show you um, this one um, it's it's very I love them I love the different sizes so I took this one and the today um, to um, fill it in um, the things that came up late uh, for example um, a little bit of work and happy meal and that kind of thing um, so that was that was nice I love how it turned out I, I love this thick book um, then we go into the first week of uh, May. Here um, I collaborated with um, Emma uh, from uh, um, uh, Slovak Girl um, Planner. No, Slovak Planner Girl. Sorry, I always mix up this name. Sorry about that. Um, I will link um, her handle in the description box so you can click. Um, uh, on it and go to her page. She makes beautiful spreads. So we go together to collaborate on um, on this on this spread, and we chose the um, beauty in florals. I believe yes, beauty in florals, and which is this one. It's it's a beautiful book, um, and. We also decided to bring in some uh, scrapbook paper. Now, I didn't have particularly scrapbook paper, but I had this beautiful paper, which I had it for years, um, which is a, a, a very big sheet of wrapping paper. And I have used it before for um, um, a notebook. I'll show you the notebook because it's not far from me. So this is the notebook. It's a bit worn because I used to put it in uh, 
in my handbag. It's, it's just a normal um, uh, craft paper uh, notebook uh, with just white pages and craft paper pages. I used to do uh, my photography studies, tutor questions I had and uh, trips, lists, that kind of thing. And that was my on the go. And it's, it, it became actually very thin after a while. And I always like this, uh, the petals of, uh, these are real pet petals from the flowers. So I use that. I still have quite a bit. Um, uh, for the spread and I loved it. It was it was really nice to uh, do something uh, different um, as when I started so I brought in a little bit of washi which doesn't necessarily match the color. This is more um, a very cool blue whereas this is um, These colors are quite warm actually except maybe for this one, lavenders and pinks and purples and greens. So it went well with the, uh, with the wrapping paper. And yeah, I love, I love, I think I always love my, my uh, spreads, especially when they are fill in, filled in um, after all the things that happened whether it's chores or happy mail or birthdays or anything. Now we go on to the second week of May and here I use one of the newest um, uh, sticker books from the teacher release, which is Fresh Start. I love the apples, love the color combination here with mu mustard and um, quite a cool dark blue, not, a, not the indigo side of it, but uh, quite cool. Um, loved, um, very, this one in particular, the quote of the day uh, sticker, which you might, um, obviously if you're not a student, you would get the inspiration from anywhere, um, including the uh, other sticker books. You can probably just a stick a quote in there if it fits or just write it down. I just, um, I don't know, I just felt like writing something. I live simply, love deeply and be kind, that kind of thing. It, it sort of, um, it influences you. All of these uh, quotes from the Happy Planner, they do influence you and then one day you sort of come up with that and it's very in tune. With the um, with the happy planner, so um, I decided as well to to do um, the sidebar more as um, chores for the week or things that I wanted to uh, get uh, done or um, something that I was expecting um, at the time. For example, supplies um, uh, for guests that they needed to be. Um, done this week, um, not in any particular day, but within the week. So, and my dinner's always at the bottom. And then we go on to the third week of May with beautiful um, bumblebee uh, stickers from uh, Ali, from According to Ali. And I just love her stickers. I have actually, I was working yesterday on, because they are such different size of, um, of stickers. And I'm actually going to work uh, later on tonight on a different um, way of um, storing these other stickers, which are the square. I don't know why I'm jumping. Sorry, I'm sidetracking, but I, th I found that it's, it's uh, interesting. So I have these stickers from Lidl. Because they're square, they have a, a white page in between, so you can, because they're all clear. Um, I want to store them, and I was thinking, um, coming up with a sort of booklet type of thing, um, or a sleeve, um, but I want 
I want to be the um, to have them ready to just get them and open um, and remove them from their backing just like you do with a uh, with the sticker books so um, this is a different project and you can see that I already punched it so that's going to become just like a planner and I just have a couple of prompts here um, for for the project um, I'll try to work on it tonight but I need one tool that I don't have so um, I'll be ordering that but um, the stickers from Ali I have put them here just wanted to share that Ali and um, create with Mandy so yes it's a bit short but they actually fit the width of the uh, of the um, DIY book and uh, it's not DIY it's from the happy planner but um, um, you know you can remove sheets from here and make your own uh, sticker book so I I put them all here I just punch them I punch the hole though um, big enough for it to go in there not bigger because I don't want um, I don't want them to dance around like the other ones because they uh, this hole is much bigger from these um, sheets they tend to move around a bit more so um, that's why I did that um, so it will be much easier to flip through just like any other sticker book and then um, do that I only have two from Mandy and the rest is um, Ali's so I just named them according to Ali and then create with Mandy so as I gather more they will be going in there so this is um, according to Ali and I mixed it with um, press florals because I think it goes really well the the shade of uh, yellow and blues and lavender goes really well with this it's they complement each other they don't fight against it so I thought it was it was beautiful I loved it I also use the uh, washer strips from the um, um, from the book um, press florals um, vertically normally you use them horizontally and just to work with it in a different way i love that um also loved it um really happy with it i think i use almost i use the entire sheet of um, of uh, bees or bumblebees um on it so really love it and then the last week of June because it just shows of one day it goes into June um, I use the uh, plant a happy life be happy box I absolutely love this book um, it's just so beautiful it's so boho um, and the earthy tones are just uh, it's my cup of tea I like it um, had two two tracking um, weeks for whatever you want to to track and the same um, started very well well not so much visiting the vegetable I, I put vegetables but it's actually checking on them um, the ones I'm growing they're fine they're alive so that's okay <laughs> uh, I missed a few days and vitamins I I keep them in my kitchen I have no idea where to put them I used to have them on my um, in my bathroom so I would see them every time I brush my teeth and take them and then I wouldn't take them sometimes so I have no idea I think I probably have to do a reminder on my phone maybe um, I don't know but anyway that's side tracking again so a few things got done um, a few things didn't well actually it's um, that I can't find so it's not it's not going to be um, going forward to another week but um, I loved this sticker book so much um, it's um, I've been thinking of actually um, getting another box only for the sticker book but it's it's just out of my reach at the moment so I can't um, so 
if it sells out again then it's 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 gone but it's beautiful it's a really beautiful book um you probably are saying yeah you say that about every single book but it's true i love i love um the quality of these stickers are just amazing even though some of them are a pain in the backside because especially the paper ones you know that if you make a mistake and you put uh, uh, you layer it with another one on top it's ruined uh, it happened here um, so I couldn't move it I was going to move it slightly more upwards but never mind um, and then um, we go into June and June um, it's um, I'm using the uh, currently page di uh, currently page differently but that's for next month um, so this is it this is my my uh, spread of June um, the four spreads um, I really I enjoyed myself and I really love looking back at my planner um, seeing how busy or n how not so busy the things I did um, that I really liked the things I did that were not very good um, so I can change for the following week um, I love these smileys. Um, yes, it's it's really nice. I I'm going to keep my planners. I it's something that um, I I don't think I would want to get rid of it. And sometimes I think I should have started when I first um, knew about the ha uh, the happy planner and um, the squad girl. Not the squad girls, but uh, um, Desiree and. Um, Mary Ellen were the two um, happy planner planner babes that um, that I knew of when I started and I started playing with the idea and then it didn't happen and then life happened and um, as I didn't forget but I, I didn't put time aside for it for researching a little bit more and to make the decision to go for it and but anyway I'm glad I did it and I love it. Um, I'm here for, I think, pretty sure for the long run. So I hope you like it. I'm sorry I was mumbling so much. Um, I hope you liked it. And if you did, please give me a thumbs up. And if you're not a subscriber at the moment, if you want, you can consider subscribing. And um, I will see you in my next video, which will be filmed in a few minutes. Um, so take very good care of yourself and happy planning. Bye.